Hello and welcome to this video. It's going to be all about Blockbench. So we're going to use Blockbench, which is uh, sort of uh, 3D editing stuff. But we need to get some textures first. The best place to get it is here. Um, you can see the address here. Uh, and this will get, get you a collection of all the textures. And you can get this uh, version 3.3 .3, and you go down here. And you just get it from here, right? Okay, so once you've got the texture pack, then you want to install this program, Blockbench, so you can install that. Okay, so once you've installed Blockbench, then we can do something else. And you can see we've got this thing that says plugins here. And you want to find this plugin, which I've installed already. Uh, it's called, uh, yeah, you can see there's various plugins, but the one we want is obviously this uh, statue generator, right? The player statue generator. Okay, so you've installed that. Um, so what you're going to want to do is put some of the textures in. Okay, so once you're in um, Blockbench, you want to import a texture. So you can see that in, in this folder here, we've got various different textures we can do. Um, first of all, though, we need to get a filter. Um, and we're going to use this filter, the player statue generator. Okay, so what we can do there is we can generate a player statue. And we can do that. And we've got a statue. And then what you can do is when you move move this thing around, if you if you go around it, you can see it's going to go around and around with the left click, and then we can move it around with the right click. And you can specify which bits you want to have, right? So for instance, you could do something like if you put on the head, if you click on the actual face, you see it will actually do it will the UV. So UV is basically an axis coordinates. Uh, so you obviously have X, Y, and Z axis. But if you're going across the surface of a of a um, what are they called? Uh, a primitive, right? If you're going, I, I think I think a cube is counts as a primitive, doesn't it? But anyway, the point is this could be a sphere. But if you're going across, the, if you're just going across, whatever it is, it's not going to be X, Y, Z. It has to be a different coordinate system, um, and it has to be a two D coordinate system. But everything is on that plane. So whether the, the whether the surface is curved or or it doesn't matter, right? But you can see, for instance, I've got the south face selected. If I click here, I've got the east face selected. Click here, there's the up face selected. Um, so there's all sorts of things like that. Um, and you can do like, you can put in, and so you can put in various textures of whatever you want. Um, so for instance, you could use, if we put the Alex texture, uh, well, this is, this is a Steve actually. So we'll put in the Steve texture. See, so we've loaded up the Steve. So you notice it's 64 pixels, um, so it should work pretty well, right? And then what we could do is apply to untext. Well, we have to deselect it first, and then we can do apply to untextured faces. That didn't work. Okay, we need to make sure we've got the whole thing selected right here. So that's all selected. Now, if we do it, it'll work, right? And you can see like where all the things are. Uh, and then you can like modify stuff as well. So you can see we've got the, the head selected there. Um, and you could, you could change that to blank if you wanted. Toggle visibility. So that would be the second layer of the head. But the first layer, if we toggle that, you're going to remove it. Um, there's other things you can do. So basically, uh, you can go different different coordinates there. Probably don't want to do that there. You can make it larger. You can do all sorts of funny stuff. But, I mean, it won't work, but <laughs> you can do some fun stuff with it. One other thing you can do is if you go here, you can actually choose which section you want. So you could put the head here. You could have it there as well. Uh, another thing you can do is if you want to expand the range, you could put it in here like this. You could make this box bigger. But this will only be on this face. So if you go around, this is not there on the other side. So basically, you have to like think about how it's all mapped. Like for instance, there's a, there's a bottom of the head as well here. If we go, you see this face there. That's on the down of the head, for instance. So you have to sort of look at things like that as well. 
and then the legs would match up like that. Yeah. Anyway, so once you've got it how you want it, you can do this. You go to export. What you want to do is export the block model. All right, so we export this block model as model.json. Okay, so now we've exported it, what we can do is we can put it into a mod, right? So we're going to need to have the cow PNG and we're going to need to have the model.json folder, which is the Blockbuster models. Uh, it's in the config of uh, Blockbuster. You go to config Blockbuster models, Alex. And we'll ensure that the file structure is like this, right? So in the skins, we have the cow PNG. And then we have the, uh, the model.json. So once you get to Minecraft, you can do some of the stuff. So you basically got this stuff. And do create a replay. I don't know. <laughs> not, the, not the most uh, inventive name there. Uh, and we go to Morph, and you see it's in the Alex section. I think I did do it the wrong side of his head, didn't I? <laughs> well, basically, you just do it like, like I said, I'm just starting out with this. Which is side? Which is the front of his head? What side is that? Once I work that one out, then I'll be all right. But anyway, we'll pick the. Can we not rotate? But anyway, so we do a pick morph, right? And then we're going to do record. All right. Oops. You can see. I wonder if it, uh, it did actually put the right text. It may have just loaded it the way it was originally. It looks slow with the udder on his head like that. Okay, I think I should going to have another go at this. Um, what I've done this time is I've, I'm just going to. I put the cow. I've just in the Alex dot uh, png. I've simply put the cow face in the right position, and you can see I'm just copying over some textures, just getting making sure this the sizing is right, and hopefully, despite the the you know the regularity of the textures there may be a way that i can do some the thing is i'm not sure exactly what functions are allowed right so i may be able to for instance rotate individual textures um okay so we currently have this um i've done the the face is 10 so i've had to change that we're not going to be able to have the side of the face um and there's also it's a bit too dark so we're going to do some changes with that as well Okay, so this is the this is the version that I've uh, I've looked at. Um, I've changed a few of the textures, as you can see. It is main it's pretty uniform. I've just overlaid the Alex texture with copies of the cow textures, um, but it's given a, a nice kind of irregular look in general. I would say, um, even though obviously the the component parts are very regular. Doesn't look so good on on the uh, l this side. You can tell it's pretty uh, just copied everything over. Um, but yeah, let's put it back into Blockbuster now. Okay, so let's see what we got this time. So again, we're going to get our director block a playback button. Uh, so a replay. We're going to do cowman again, and let's see if this one is better. That looks much better. Much better, right? Okay. So, yeah. So, essentially, you have to just edit the image. There's, it doesn't seem like there's really any way around it. Maybe there is, but I don't know what it is. And to be honest, it's actually quite fun to edit the image. So, I've got some other ideas beyond this. But... As you can see, just do a little, a little runabout again. Let's just turn the music off. So, go for the playback. <laughs> I'm holding the playback. So yeah, that is much better, right? Yeah, that is far, far better. Yeah, and the great thing about it, and the reason why it's it's like I spent so long trying to do this is because 
all the animations um, should be able to work in um, in Blockbuster. We'll talk about more in Blockbuster another time. Uh, this was an important first step, and there'll be more steps to come. So, until next time, thanks for watching.